What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Celio's Network. Today we're going to take a look at four more deck lists from the 8-man Japanese Invitational that we checked out about a week ago or so on the channel. Um, and today we're going to be looking at four decks with new cards from battle styles that are not built around rapid strike or single strike Pokemon. As the article says here, uh, decks made other than Ichigeki and Rengeki, which are single strike and rapid strike. And Ichigeki is very fun to say, so I took this opportunity to say Ichigeki three times in the introduction of this video. Be sure to check out PoTownStore.com for all of your PTCGO needs and use code CELIO for 5% off over there. As well as don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not already and leave a like on the video before we get into these four pretty awesome decks from Battle Styles. Sometimes these decks from Japan are hit or miss, but uh, I think these all introduce pretty cool concepts. So the first one is going to be Tapu Koko V Max. And I actually really, really like Tapu Koko V from this new set. And I also kind of like Tapu Koko VMAX. I, I'm pretty confident Tapu Koko VMAX will be good at some point. Um, Eric Smith from Rare Candy said that he thinks the card's pretty terrible, uh, but I'm going to have to disagree with him on that, so we'll have to see which one of us are right. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, are you on Team Celio or Team Rare Candy for Tapu Koko VMAX? Uh, but this one, so let's yeah, let's take a look at this deck. Uh, they go through some of you know the cards, bolt ton, speed lightning, energy re reset stamp. Um, so if you don't know what Tapu Koko V Max does already, Tapu Koko V Max for three energy for lightning lightning colorless does 180 and if you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent the defending pokemon is paralyzed so if you're behind on prize cards you swing 180 plus paralyzation so that's actually stronger than raichu raichu's paralyzed attack which is 160 in paralyze and it's also on a 320 hp pokemon um, and then tabu koko v the new one for Lightning Lightning Colorless swings for 40 damage. Actually, let's go bring up, uh, let's go bring it up over here and make sure I'm correct. 20 damage plus, I'm glad I checked. Uh, Tapu Koko V from the new set for Lightning Lightning Colorless does 20 damage plus, 40 more for each energy attached to all of your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, so this is basically really, really good versus mirror matches or other or Pika Rom decks, basically other lightning decks that are going to flood the board with energy. Um, this is a pretty good attacker without the VMAX. So I really like this line of Tabu Koko cards. Um, and then you got three bolt ton, pretty standard for a lightning type deck in this day and age. And then a 2-2 line of the Electrode from Vivid Voltage that can knock itself out and you search your deck for two lightning energy. Actually, it's it's been a little while. We're going to uh, fact check this. <laughs> I forget if they come for the discard or the deck. Cannot lie to y'all. And uh, the page we're looking at has Japanese cards on it, so we're going to just make sure i'm right about this i think it comes from the deck yes so once during your turn if this pokemon's on your bench you may search your deck for up to two lightning energy cards and attach them to your lightning pokemon in any way you like shuffle your deck and then if you searched your deck in this way this pokemon is knocked out so you can uh make your opponent take a prize card and accelerate energy and then that works with tapu koko v max's attack because since you made your opponent take a prize card they're now ahead on prizes and you swing 180 and, par and paralyze them so i really like the synergy between that and tapu koko v max and bolt ton is just a great card now heroes metal wow they're just sticking a lot of cards in here that i want to fact check myself on before i spit about what they do i i believe heroes metal is just like amulet coin but for vmax pokemon yeah so the pokemon vmax this card is attached to gets minus 100 hp and if it's knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's pokemon that player takes one fewer price card you can attach this card to a pokemon vmax that has 100 hp or less remaining so you attach that to Coco V Max and it has 220 HP now, but it's worth less one less prize. Um, I think this is pretty bad with ADP around, but once ADP is gone, maybe this card will actually see some play. So th this is a card I haven't been thinking about a lot, um, just because ADP has really pushed it out of viability. But it's a pretty cool card to think about once ADP is gone. Um, and then Turbo Patches. I'm not a huge fan of the Turbo Patches, but 
maybe they're decent uh but yeah just a cool concept to build upon it's pretty simple you know you got the electrodes the tapu koko v max line um i'm not sure if the electrodes are necessary maybe you run this with pika and alone right you right you tag team still um, but I, I do like them exploring this new concept of Tapu Koko VMAX with Electrode and definitely playing the two reset stamps because that's going to be really good when you're making your opponent take prize cards. You pop an Electrode, maybe you pop one more Electrode and then they knock out a Tapu Koko VMAX and they go down to one prize and you go stamp paralyze and you could just keep paralyzing whatever they throw out there. Um, so yeah, I really like this pretty cool one thing I would consider is if there's any math that can work out um, Potentially add in scoop up that zigzagoon so you can paralyze the defending and then knock it out with Zigzagoon and then paralyze whatever else comes up I don't think there's any important math that it would work on just yet, but maybe in the future Also, maybe a consideration is throwing in Aurora energy plus the mimic you that works well uh, when you're behind that's from uh, the new set which we will look at at a deck down the line here but we'll just take a quick look at it since i mentioned it um you may use this ability once during your turn when you play this card from your hand to your bench until the end of your opponent's next turn prevent all damage done to this pokemon by attacks from your opponent's pokemon and then for a psychic it uh put three damage counters on your opponent's active pokemon for each prize card your opponent has taken so you could do something neat where you like paralyze with coco v max and then retreat uh bench mimic you retreat into it and clean up the knockout with envying eyes and then they can't hit the mimic you and then you paralyze them again so something cool that um i was thinking about with those two cards combined next we've got victini v max another new card coming out in battle styles which uh notably is a fire attacker that does not necessarily rely on welder um so the new victini v max will head on over to the polka beach translations and check this one out real quick here we go the new victini v we'll take a look at too but i think the old victini v from certain shield base is just better uh, the first attack here is V bullet. It does 10 damage for fire energy. And if the opponent's active is a V, it does 60. Uh, so it's okay for a fire energy, but you pretty much don't want to be attacking with this and leaving it active just to do 60 damage. I guess on like going second, it's like fine, but you'd rather be using something else with the plethora of fire attackers that are around. And then uh, Flare Shot, 120 discard all energy from this Pokemon. Not a very good attack. And then we've got Victini VMAX, uh, which is a pretty awesome looking card. And I do think it's really, really efficient for its attack cost. The first one, Spreading Flames, is the same attack as the Sword and Shield base Victini V. Attach up to three fire from your discard to your Pokemon any way you like. Now, I like it has two usable attacks, but I kind of hate that it's just a copy of the victini v that we already have uh and then victory max does 100 damage for two energy and if the defending pokemon is a v pokemon it does 120 more so it does 220 for just two energy which is really nice um of course eternatus swings to 70 for two energy but eternatus is a little more susceptible to energy denial and susceptible to be hitting for weakness since fighting weak is a popular thing to hit for um, it needs to fill its bench to do 270, so you could say that it's balanced in those ways, but it's hard to argue that Eternus VMAX is balanced <laughs> in any way. Um, but yeah, Victini V is really efficient, two energy to swing for 220. Um, okay, now let's look at the rest of the deck. So the rest of the deck, we got Reshizar, we got Heatran. Um, so what's nice about this is you can be using your welders on Reshizar and Heatran on the bench, or just powering up a Victini to then switch the energy over to Heatran. Uh, while you just have to manually attach twice to Victini V Max to use its main attack. And you can use Heat Fire Energy to buff up Victini V's kind of low HP at 310 for a V Max. You can bump it up a little bit more. Um, and then you could also play Big Charm in this deck, which probably wouldn't be a bad idea, too. Uh, so, pretty neat deck. Again, very simple, very to the point. Just showing off the new cards, pretty much. Uh, next is Corviknight VMAX, 
with the new Bronzong. Um, so I'm just going to get this out of the way. You would never play this deck without playing Zacian. I cannot imagine playing a metal deck without Zacian. Maybe I'm wrong. Please prove me wrong, but... The, there should be some some Zashins thrown in here for sure. Uh, so let's take a look at the new Corviknight Vamax. I think it's down here. Yeah, here we go. Uh, we don't need to look at Corviknight V. It's unimportant. So Corviknight Vmax has the ability Luster Body. Prevent all effects of your opponent's abilities done to this Pokemon. Very cool. And then Gmax Hurricane, 240 damage for four. <sighs> Excuse me, and it can't use G-Max Hurricane next turn. Notably, Corviknight V-Max is a big metal bird with 320 HP that has zero retreat cost. So G-Max Hurricane swinging for 240, can't attack next turn. So uh, we're gonna switch, we're gonna, we're gonna retreat and then switch or escape rope. The free retreat is super, super nice here. Because that means you can have a metal goggles or a big charm or something like that attached to it instead of um, an air balloon to retreat to satisfy this effect of the attack. So that's really good. But um, also very important is that it pairs well with the new Bronzong, which I think we have to scroll all the way up yonder to see. And the new Bronzong has metal trans. As often as you like during your turn, you may move a metal energy from one of your Pokemon to another one of your Pokemon. And then also important to this deck archetype is Cheryl, a new supporter card. Where are you, Cheryl? And Cheryl reads, heal all damage from each of your evolution Pokemon, then discard all energy attached to the Pokemon you healed in this way. So Bronzong allows you to move energy from the Corviknight to somewhere else, then heal the Corviknight with Cheryl, then move the metal energy back to Corviknight. Uh, so that's really, really good. And the ability stops Giratina from Unified Minds from rem removing its metal coating energy. So then fire decks can't do that to then hit it for weakness. So this Corviknight is going to tank damage very frequently and then be able to heal. Um, Cheryl, Cheryl's kind of awkward without Versus Seeker in the deck. Well, I should without Versus Seeker in the format. Of course, we have Eldegoss. So Eldegoss is a must play in this deck. And maybe just play Scoop Up Net, Guru Mewtwo while we still have that. Uh, but yeah, this is a really neat deck archetype that's new coming out of Battle Styles uh, with the Corviknight VMAX with Cheryl with Bronzong. Um, so this is a archetype that I think I'm actually looking forward to now. Um, I was pretty harsh on Corviknight VMAX when I first saw it because from a card design perspective, like, come on guys, it's a big bird with one attack and an ability that's not anything shiny or special or interesting or interactive. Um, so I was, I was kind of taken back because it only has one attack and I hate it from a design perspective, but with what we're working with in standard format, I think this is a pretty cool deck, all things considered. So uh, this should be at least decent. And the last and probably least, if I'm being honest with you, is Spirit Tomb and Mimic UV. So the new Mimic UV that we already looked at, uh, that you can play it down from hand to bench. And then this turn, it can't be damaged by your opponent's attacks. And the attack for one Psychic... Uh, does three damage counters to the defending Pokemon for every damage for every prize card your opponent has taken. So if they've taken four prizes, you put 12 damage counters on the defending, and your opponent's going to need a boss's orders or an escape rope to get around the Mimikyu. Um, it kind of sucks that they're bringing out escape rope in the same set as this, and the same set as Empoleon V. Like, you, <laughs> those, those decks, like dex didn't need help getting around those cards those cards needed help not being like gusted around um but anyway i think you can kind of tell where this deck is going if you've played or seen a spirit tomb deck recently spike moth stadium damages your spirit tombs so they have more damage on them uh tough escape gives spirit Tomb more hp so you have more damage to put on yourself so you can do more damage with anguish uh yeah anguish cry after you build spite um bird keeper switches you around so the spike moth keeps damaging you and then you want to use your mimic use in the later game so after they take you know three prizes use a mimic you after they take five prizes use a mimic you 
The one thing this deck is really missing, though, is reset stamps. Like, I think for Mimic UV to function at all, you need reset stamps and even a full set of Marnie. They only have three Marnie in this deck. So I definitely think, like, okay, you want to fit reset stamps of some number, and you probably want to try to max out your Marnies. Um, I realize it's a deck with a lot going on, and typically the more interesting decks don't have enough room to compete with the consistency of the big basic tag teams and the like the just kind of single commitment VMAX decks like Eternatus. Uh, but I do think for this deck to function, you probably want to have stamps and Marnies, or stamps and then a full stack of Marnies in the deck. Um, a new card that this deck does get help from is the three level ball that you see in this deck, uh, because Spear Tomb and Zigzagoon and Mew are all uh level ball searchable I, i'm surprised to not see jinx in here honestly uh, but they do have four switch four rope and then three bird keeper to just switch the spear tombs back and forth so much but i would probably just drop two ropes and put two jinx in because jinx is jinx is just a very good card to have in a spear tomb deck um it always has been and it will be until they both rotate soon hopefully rotation happens that's a whole other video um but yeah so i think this is a cool deck but definitely needs work whereas the other ones i think uh show really well these new concepts the corviknight v max bronzong uh the victini v max deck with the little bit of support going on in the back and the big uh not the big charms but the heat fire energy and the tapu koko v max electro deck which i think Tapu Koko V Max will be good at some point, and the Tapu Koko V too. Uh, Tapu Koko V could be good on its own just in Pika Ram, which I think it will be when Battle Styles comes out. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video on some new Battle Styles decks from this Japan Invitational. It's over on Pokemon-Card.com, which if you did not know, that's the Japanese Pokemon TCG website. So you can check that out here and just turn on Google Translate to get through the Japanese text. It'll turn it into this roughly translated English text that you see before me here today. And you can go check this out more yourself if you wanted to. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not already for daily pokemon tcg content and check out potownstore.com for all of your ptcgo needs make sure to use code celio over there for five percent off have a great day and i'll see you next time here on celio's network